Here's why you need to seriously consider Taiwo Awuniyi for your FPL team. Just to show that this video isn't a knee-jerk reaction, we got signs of how good of a striker he is at the end of last season. He scored six goals in the final four games to keep Forrest basically in the Premier League. Across the season, he started 17 games, scored 10 goals, got one assist, and the key stat that I'm looking at here is the expected returns per 90. What that is, is the combined expected goals and assists per 90 minutes that a Woody plays, and it is elite. That 0.71 figure is absolutely elite amongst Premier League players, and I'm going to show you why next. So looking at the other players that you would have owned last season in FPL, I'm looking at a one year compared to those players in terms of expected returns per 90. Kane, he's on less, 0.63. Saka, 0.5, less than a one year. Rashford, 0.59, less than a one year. Tony, 0.56. Salah, just a little bit more at 0.72. Watkins at 0.54. Now, I'm not including Haaland on this list because he was the highest expected returns per 90 player in the Premier League at over one across the whole season, which is obviously just ridiculous. But I don't think a one year is competition to Haaland. But when you compare him to these other players from the Premier League, hopefully you get a good sense of the level that he was playing at when he was on the pitch last season. And hopefully gives you an idea of the potential that he has this season. Obviously, he's only played two games so far. He's done really well in a couple of games and I think based on the fact that he had this level of numbers, underlying numbers last season, he's a fantastic option. So continuing on with the stats then, this season he's only started one game, obviously had a 20 minute cameo against Arsenal and then started against Sheffield United. In both of those games he's scored two goals from 0.91 expected goals barely gets any any assists that's the theme really most of his returns are goals he's not particularly a creative outlet but that's the role that he plays and I know it's a very small sample size right two Premier League games one of which he didn't start but he's got 0.79 expected returns per 90 and if we compare that to top players of last season he's better than anyone on this list for expected returns per 90 this season so I'm just trying to sell him basically as an option to you hopefully these stats are helping to convince you so to summarise then, as I said before, he scored six goals in the final four games of the season last year. They literally, those goals kept Forrest in the Premier League. 0.71 expected returns per 90 last season. It's a really good total. We saw how that stacked up to the you know elite FPL assets last season. And he's you know mixing it really with the big boys. And he scored two goals out of the first two games of the season. You'd now expect him to be starting regularly for Nottingham Forest. I don't see any reason why he's not going to be nailed in that team every week, certainly if he continues this form. Now, you look at those upcoming fixtures on the right. He's just played Sheffield United at home. Then he's got Man United away, then Chelsea away, Burnley at home and Man City away. It's a really tough run of fixtures, don't get me wrong, but I've got hope for a one over those fixtures. Or maybe this video just plants the seed that he could be an option after game week six. But just going back to those fixtures, last season he scored goals against Liverpool, he scored against Chelsea and, well, he scored against Arsenal last season and, of course, scored against Arsenal at the Emirates this season. So I don't, I'm not saying he's fixture-proof by any means, but I wouldn't let difficult fixtures put me off because he seems to be, you know, proven dangerous to any defence that he comes up against. So, albeit it's a tough fixture run, I don't think you can do much better at this stage for six and a half million. All right, and that's the end of the video. I hope you can see that this just isn't a knee-jerk reaction to the last couple of games that we've seen from him. He really has proven himself, in my opinion, to be a top-level Premier League striker when he has been on the pitch for Forest, at least. And I really do have high expectations for him this season. I'm going to go out on a whim. If he stays injury-free, I think he's got 15 goals in him this season. And for six and a half million that he's priced at in FPL, he's going to be a great option at that price. Particularly, you know, if the likes of Jao Pedro, who I know a lot of people have in their team at the moment, he sort of gets out of the team. A one e if you can up downgrade someone else elsewhere or have a little bit left in the bank, I think it's the perfect option to replace him. I think once Brighton, for example, get into Europe, Jao Pedro could be rotated a little bit in. This is your man to replace him in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, 
please leave me a light rating and let me know in the comments what you think. You know, if you agree or disagree with me on a one e, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. I mean, as I say in most of my videos, FPL is all about difference of opinion. So if your opinion is different to mine, that's what the game's all about. We'd have each of our teams would be the same if we all had the same opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll catch you in my next video.